Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course on the Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very warm welcome from me. All right, if you remember well, in the previous sessions, we listed the permissions on our site and now we are going to deal with deleting the permissions and then adding them first we go and deal with deleting because it is less complicated and easier to do okay first i copy the associated function with it i call it manager perm on the line del for delete and I send a name to it okay the name of my permission all right and then I say return redirect okay to which function let's say manager underline perm okay uh, here we say permissions dot object and dot filter name equals name and then perms dot delete okay now it gets a name from us what name it gets the name of the permission searches for it and then deletes it and returns back to the permission list we need to make the URL right now so let's make the URL it would be manager perms del and instead of pk we have name instead of backslash e plus dot asterisk okay it needs to connect to manager perms del with the name manager perms del it is ready now uh, we need to deal with permissions the list of the permissions here we need to make the delete button it needs to move to managers perms del and name equals cc dot name all right here i refresh and test it see if it works and as you see i am deleting the permissions one after the other I delete the ones I don't need okay after deleting the permissions we said we don't use the permissions since it makes for uh, since it makes four permissions for each option we are going to let's say set up the permissions the way we want them to and use them whenever we want both in the template and in the back end and in the view okay let's see all right what do we have here here i want to make a new permission uh, under a certain name that i'm looking for the first thing i would do is i copy is i make a function out of it i say perms add of the request type yeah that's okay i remove these all right i make the url all right that's right now the url is made and that's right we put it over here 
that's the URL okay manager perms at okay now what I need to do is I need to go up and I need to send this registration form to manager perms at and this is okay and all right here it should be permission okay and now uh, using the post message we send the name here uh, we want to make the permissions first we want to receive the name so here I say request dot if request dot method equal equal post okay then what name equals uh, request dot post dot get okay and name will be received thus and now print I get a name and print it to test this section okay in the permission add section there is some problem over here let's see what it is line 18 the URL we copied it the closing of the array had also been copied we didn't pay attention all right now we type something let's see if it prints or not yeah up to here my function is working properly and it gets a name and that name is going to be registered as the name of my permission all right now in order to register the permission I need a library first I need to import the library I say from Django dot country dot content that's okay type well dot models import content types content uh, type we have content type over here okay and let's check and see if it is correct from django.country yep content type dot models import content type it's okay hopefully it will work all right with no problems let's see here we have received the name and now we want to make the permission with the name that we have received uh, first we say can't underline type it is the name of the variable equals content type okay dot objects that's right dot get we need to receive the content type of the app that we want to define a permission for okay and then get where app label equals as I said I make all the permissions for the main app you can do it for any app you want you just need to replace that app with the main and the permission would be made for that certain app of yours I say app label equals main and model equals main remember here the first letter of the model is a small and not capital we use a small letters to write the whole thing okay and then we say permission equals equals permission okay dot object dot to get all right now the values that we need one is code name code name equals okay for instance 
let's see test perms yeah that's right name equals test and then and okay content underline type equals that's right here uh, we should exist we should set a comma content underline type equals content underline type here we gave the three values it needed the first one was uh, the code name and let's see the code name is without a space and it is used to import the permission okay it is a name without a space instead uh, we add an underline name is the name that will be shown here in the list we show the name it can be in any language what matters uh, is the code name it could be any language uh, and here is the code name something that we use on our own the names that we use for permission we import it with that name and use it and the content type uh, determines the app for which we make a permission we just need to instead of main app set the uh, certain app and the permission will be made for that app all right we save let's test and see if it works well all right let's see of course we made a mistake if you notice here we didn't use the name okay over here uh, I give a name as default and static that's okay here we test it and then replace the name let's test it we just need to set something okay it gave an error it tells me uh, create does not exist and here the create that we made it needs it needs to change uh, it found a problem with it because the capital C okay again let's test it as you see test has been made it gave me an error we need to make sure that such a name does not already exist the create was with capital C and that's why it gave an error all right uh, now if I refresh up to here it has made the permissions and now uh, if I check the list of permissions a permission has been made for me called test on the line perms I can delete it uh, there are however uh, some points uh, that we need to take care of we need to make the static name dynamic and we need another field permission and code names and we need to check and see that this permission has not been registered before 